Welcome to how to set up and operate the Baofeng UV5R transceiver, a tutorial for newcomers to ham radio, scanning, and transceivers. This is part four, frequency, channel mode, dual display, and switching bands. Let's look first at how to use the VFOMR button. The VFOMR button switches from frequency mode to channel mode. VFO stands for variable frequency oscillator. MR stands for memory or channels. Press the VFO key to toggle from frequency mode to channel mode. Channel mode. Frequency mode. Channel mode. You can also tell you're in channel mode when the channel numbers are displayed to the right. In frequency mode, frequency mode. No channel numbers are displayed. It's important to know whether you're in frequency mode or channel mode. Only in frequency mode can you enter frequencies. Channel mode. In channel mode, I attempt to enter a frequency. One, three, six. Doesn't even attempt it. Switch to frequency mode. Frequency mode. One, three, six, five, five. Now it accepts a frequency. Note that all six digits must be entered, including any final zeros. One, three, six, zero, zero, zero. Now, what is the AB button for? The AB button switches the focus of the dual display. This radio is able to show two frequencies on the same display. The display has two lines, one upper and one lower. The upper display line is referred to as the A frequency. The lower display is referred to as the B frequency. The AB key toggles the focus of this dual display, marked with a small triangular indicator. So now I am monitoring 136 megahertz, switch to the B frequency, now I would be monitoring the 470 megahertz frequency. Each press of the AB key will result in this small triangle moving from the upper line to the lower line and back again. If the focus is set to the A frequency, only active transmissions from this frequency will be heard. To monitor the B frequency, you would need to press the AB key until the triangular mark is displayed at the lower frequency. Depending upon how you customize the settings of your radio, you can set the A frequency to be the one you're listening to, and the B frequency the one on which you will be transmitting. It is also possible to set both frequencies to receive and transmit. So be careful with this. It's possible to become confused. You may transmit a message on a different frequency than that which you intended. Frequencies may be entered for either display line. Frequencies displayed on the upper frequency line, the A, may be stored in memory as a channel, but any frequencies entered in the lower line, in the B frequency display, they cannot be entered into storage as a channel. For, be for be beginners, it may be best to set the dual display to show the same frequency on both A and B. So let's try that. Toggle to the B frequency line and enter the same frequency that you have on the A. One, three, six, zero, zero, zero. Now, no matter which focus your AB button is set to, it's still the same frequency. No danger of mistakenly transmitting on an unintended frequency. Finally, let's look at the band key. This switches the radio from monitoring a VHF frequency to a UHF frequency. UA VHF stands for very high frequency, UHF, ultra high frequency. 
VHF, the very high frequency range, begins at 136 megahertz, goes up to 174. The UHF, ultra high frequency range, goes from 400 megahertz to 520 megahertz. Only one band may be monitored and used as a time, at a time. Pressing the band button will toggle from the most recently entered VHF frequency to the most recently entered UHF frequency. Let's try it. Let's first ensure that we're in frequency mode. Press the VFO key until... Channel mode. Frequency mode. No channel numbers are displayed. So I'm in frequency mode. And let's select the A display line. Triangular mark is showing at the upper line, the A frequency line. Now let's enter a VHF frequency. I suggest 136555. 136555. And on this same A frequency line, let's enter a UHF frequency. 400555. Now, press band to toggle from VHF to UHF. There's the VHF frequency we entered, and there's the UHF frequency we entered. We can do the same thing with the B display line. So again, make sure you're in frequency mode. I see no channel numbers, so I'm in frequency mode. Toggle down to the B display line, and let's enter a VHF frequency for this line. How about a different one? 137.555. 137555. And for a UHF frequency, let's go 407.555. 407555. Now, still on this B line of display, we can toggle using the band key. There's the VHF frequency we entered. There's the UHF frequency we entered. We now effectively have four different frequencies entered into the radio. There are two VHF frequencies and two UHF frequencies. The two frequencies entered into the A display line are different than those we entered into the B display line. Keep in mind, none of these four frequencies have been stored into memory yet as a channel. That tutorial is yet to come. Good work. My name is Milt, and this has been How to Set Up and Operate the Baofeng UV5R Transceiver. Until next time, keep looking up.